So guys, I got a text from Luke from the Outdoor Boys. We just did a collaboration with them last week. And apparently their flight got canceled. So he asked if they could come and uh, do another trip with us. So I'm in my garage getting my machine ready to go uh, for another trip with them. I'm thinking we'll either go ice fishing for rainbows at a special lake we know about. Or we'll go for ptarmigan. Uh, Luke really wanted to get some ptarmigan. And uh, Tommy really wanted to go on a snow machine ride. So maybe we'll try and get some ptarmigan or go fishing. Uh, we'll just have to see tomorrow. Saga's ready to go, but she gets to stay home. She loves to go for snow machine rides. I heard you guys forgot your eggs. Yeah, we did. <laughs> That's a, we always forget something. Who wants a dark egg? Ooh, look at that big sucker. That is a jungle egg. That one? I want to pick one. In there, that's the only one you got to worry about. She'll peck you. The rooster up there? No, nope, the one that's in the box there. I'll show oh. you. Two little pecking. <laughs> okay, gentle. Okay, do you want to you get some eggs? Yeah, I'm sorry, so that's my food. I love the yolk. Well, the river looks a little bit rough to cross this year where we normally cross. We're going to go up to one of our favorite rainbow trout lakes. It's really looking like less of an option. So we're going to shift and we're going to go for birds and uh, hare and do some small game hunting and hopefully get some, some, uh, some uh, rabbits and some uh, ptarmigan. Let's get going. So we made it to where our campsite's going to be for the outdoor boys. And uh, we're going to get the stuff set up. And then we're going to run up on top of the pass. It's right up there. Pretty crazy. So. Well, Luke's setting up his tent. We're going to cut some firewood here quick for him. So anyways, we got our tree cut down for fuel, but while I'm at it, I might as well make some camp chairs. There's one chair. There we go. Go ahead, grab a chair. Everybody grab a chair. Oh, yeah. <sighs> All right, well, we're heading up to go see if we can get just to the top of the pass here. The tent is all set up and all our stuff is stowed and ready to go. So hopefully we can find something, but uh, it's going to be a long shot this late today. Right. So we made it up to the pass here, and there's some old ptarmigan tracks in here. You can hardly make them out, but there's moose up the valley, and I'm going to buzz up in here and see if I can't see any birds. Lots of moose up here. A couple of moose in there. We kind of spooked them up a little bit. Well, we're gonna go over in the valley here and look and see if there's a few more ptarmigan. And wow, storms come. Look at the blue in the sky there in the clouds. That is a sign of snow right there. <laughs> they were looking for a white bird in the middle of a snowstorm. You see something? Here, look at this. They're gonna be hard to spot, but there's fresh tracks right there. Fresh. Yeah. See that? I see you. 
Right there. Which way are you headed? They're heading that way. Alright. Ah, it's easy to put on its side, isn't it? It is. It's hard to, it's hard to steer, but luckily I don't need to go in any particular direction. Oh, look at that. He's getting... Yeah, they just got dumped. He got stuck trying to go up it. I feel like I'm only barely riding these things, you know? Don't worry, you are only barely riding them, but that's okay. It's like you first... Yep, so my Luke's having antics. He just ran over this tree here, got stuck up in it. He's in a canyon and he can't turn around. It's out of this, I'm going to be impressed. Well, it's getting dark, and Luke did a bad thing. Definitely a fail. So we're towing out tonight because my machine broke down. Um, I'm just riding it right now. The boys are behind me. Luke and Cody are behind me. And uh, we're having trouble with the clutch on my machine for some reason. And we're kind of bummed out that this machine broke down, but we're making the best of it, so. Light it up. So cold, the fire doesn't burn. There it is. Now I can feel some heat. All right, well, there's our dinner. It's tinfoil dinners. And Luke has so graciously made these and cooked them on the fire. The ingredients were kind of raw in there, weren't they? They're all raw, yeah. It already ignited. Yeah, I, I thought it might have. Just the open this is like Christmas. With a bunch of, um, Ooh. Ooh, that looks tasty. Oh, that's good. You strike me as a man who's had a few tinfoil dinners in his days. It's getting late, and we're going to do the same thing again this time and go sleep in our house because we didn't pack a tent, so. Next time, can you pack a tent? Next time? Yeah, maybe if we plan plan camping out a little bit sooner, we can pack a tent. Our tent's back in the mine right now. So we made it back last night, just fine, pulling that sled back. And uh, I got my brother-in-law's pro, so we're going to run out there today how they fared but it was warmer than last time so I'm sure they're doing great. And the boys and how'd you do we did well better was, night than last time no yeah, goats screaming <laughs> no. less less, less, screaming. less there was screaming less screaming <laughs> my boys were ready this morning and raring to go but we had to go find some extra gas so you want to go up over the pass and sounds, see if we can't find any birds i think that sounds like a lovely idea awesome so we made it up to the pass and uh Nice day out today. Good day to find some birds. Luke wants to go ride. We got some angry moose in our path. So yesterday I lost the traps in the in the back country here and we found them again against all odds. You can see the moose on the ridge. They're a little irritable this time of year. We well, gotta watch out for them. But they're everywhere here, so you don't want to get charged by one of them. They are big animals. I just saw one! There he is. 
right up there they're flying low man they blend in so well guys Sorry, I couldn't film shooting it. I couldn't do both at the same time. But if you want to see us getting a few other birds, we have other videos where we, sh where we actually get footage of actually shooting the birds. Just come straight up and if you get stuck, just plant it. These guys are hard to see. He's right back in here. There he is, right there. Just had to get a bird. Uh, I usually like to take him in the head with the 22, but had to just take a body shot just so we could get something for you guys to see. There we go! Well guys, it's a bad day out riding today. Uh, my Scandic seized up. I'm really bummed about it. So, we're kind of out in the middle of nowhere, so got to have a rescue operation here uh, my scandic engine seems like it bit the dust out here we're way back in the mountains and uh, we're gonna have to tow it out of here and that's gonna be tough I can't tow it with the machines I have uh, these are just enough to get us out so it's kind of a problem and it's gonna be an expensive fix I think it might take a little time in the shop well, when your fun trip turns into just get back home trip, this is what it looks like. Two machines, one to go get. So far we've lost two machines. That's half of our machines lost. We're rescued. Well, thanks to my buddy Caleb, he came and bailed me out. Towing the machine back. Should be an easy tow. We'll just tow it right back to the highway. Really a bummer though, because uh, this is like our work machine too, so we need to get it fixed really quick. Basically, clutch side. Have you ever vapor locked this way? Yeah. So, how's it happen? Well, if you're too hot to begin with, kill the flatter down. That's what happened. Oh, there we go. <laughs> He's trying to really convince himself here. <laughs> Can you turn it over. You're gonna have, you'll probably not have scored cylinder walls. Wait, Dad, you think so? Probably so. You'll lose horsepower from that, but it'll still run. Is that gonna get in the way? That sounded promising. Yeah, it'll, it'll, it, it should, it should run now. Well, <laughs> it depends. You could only have 60 pounds of compression. Well, Luke, we tried to make an adventure of it, and I think we succeeded. Well, I think we got the machine fixed. Uh, it appears to have been maybe vapor locked, which uh, made me think it was seized up, but uh, we're liking the sound of that. We even got a tow again. I saw you and I can go through this. My hunting license uh, expired on January 1st, so we're good. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so we're legal. We're legal. And I'm going to send you guys with the term again oh, to catch Cook. There you go. So, uh, anyways, guys, we'll check in when we get back to the house and start unloading. 
and uh, we'll see you then. All right. gonna have Luke hit the road here but him and his boys had a good time eventful time yeah but uh I learned about small engine repair <laughs> and uh it was, it was fun but uh, an emotional roller coaster to say the least yeah so anyways thanks for watching you guys and uh, uh give us a like and watch some of our other videos while you're on here see you later Leave us a comment, and if you haven't already, please subscribe.